so where we're going is here. We're not doing this for long. Because I, I don't want to sit in The Sims for, for, for long. I do know that some people get tired of watching The Sims building stuff at times. I know some people don't care. I personally kind of hit or miss. But right now I'm, I'm not super feeling up for Sims time. Um, but I am feeling good enough for The Sims to be able to do this. I don't want to put the tropical plant there. I'm fine with the fern. I don't want to put a whole bunch of stuff there either because, you know. <clears throat> what is this? Oh. That'd be funny, kind of fun. Hold on. Um, move objects on. It's gardening. like one dead plant I have to move it it's just so awkward <laughs> it just it feels like it's just like why haven't you gotten rid of that Boston cream pie you want to learn that one shouldn't be too hard I would think but yeah Bought it, and but know how to make one, sort of. Practice makes perfect, yeah. Which is why I want to get into the habit of doing it. Um, swamp cactails, pompous grass. No, we don't need pompous. Where are the dandelions? Dandelions. So I don't feel like this place is like super well kept. But it's probably okay. Because I know that the hedges say, oh, look how well done this is, but... I also, I don't want to change the edging for the pool as much as I was originally thinking about it because it kind of works, I guess. Let me see. I end up doing those like, I don't know, maybe. Okay, fine. <laughs> you and baking aren't friends. Baking's just practice. It's, I mean, cooking's practice in a lot of way too. In a lot of ways too, but baking is mostly just getting used to just practicing it. It's um, it's one part an art farm, one part a science, and I know that people argue over that. It's classically argued all the time whether it's this. This looks like it'd be incredibly uncomfortable to walk around. By the way, oops. There, I think. I think we're gonna leave it like this. This looks pretty good as it is. <clears throat> um, comfort lounge chair. I don't really want a lounge chair. Living chair. I need this to be. Ew! It has doilies on a doily on it. I don't like that. <clears throat> Hi, the breakfast of champions. He used to do a lot of baking with dad as a kid, but we stopped because dad was scared of how fast you and mom would inhale the cake. <laughs> I mean, that is one of the joys of it. I I definitely am getting to the point where I want to make some more cookies again. I mean, I made them for um. I made cookies for Christmas, um, to the point where I even made some cookies Christmas Day to take over on top of what I had. I don't want wicker. I do want an outdoor chair up here, though, here, sort by room. 
a little easier outdoor outdoor seating uh a little too over the top Are you kidding me it's like here's all the lounges that's it I mean, I guess I could just put a lounge here. Technically, I could do two. Oh, because I have move objects on. Move objects off. You have five friend requests. Holy crap. I wonder if that's from the stream time. It usually is. Um, plastics and rubber. Make it like that. Make it this. Ugh. Like I don't want it to look like a good a good seat. I want it to look a little dated. <clears throat> Usually just pick a nice enough chair and slap a wicker pattern on it. I mean... That's not a horrible idea. It's just, I don't know how many chairs would work like that. I mean, technically. Let me see. Instead of this, get wicker. Come here. Uh, weave and wicker, boom. I mean, you plastics of rubber there. Looks too modern. I could always use this one, but also, again, modern-ish. Eh. I like this lounge. We're gonna keep the lounge. I have this really cheesy table here. Oh god. Some of these tables are hideous. Um Yeah, as the packs went on, they pulled in more of what was popular at the time and all hail the lounge. Yeah, I don't really much a lot of the higher end lofty type stuff I thought was a little eh. It didn't work well. Um which is why I never got things like high end loft. Um I also didn't like any of the stuff packs, remember, because I just thought they were just too much extra money. I, it was also because when Maxis when Will Wright with Maxis was involved, they were very big on open source where people should be able to create their own stuff. And Sims 3, while people were able to create their own stuff, it felt like it was a lot more limited from the get-go because you could feel that Maxis really wanted a certain level of control. Um... They wanted a certain level of control, especially with regards to um, uh, sales, basically. So stuff packs suddenly became a thing when initially the Sims said they would never end up doing something like that. I remember that being a thing 
Um, actually, I think that was Sims 3 to Sims 4 they had made that statement. That they said that they were no longer going to make stuff packs because they no longer... Basically, no longer wanted to abandon the community as they felt the stuff packs did. And then they went ahead and started doing it anyways for The Sims 4. Which is another reason why I didn't much care for The Sims 4, especially when it first came out. Is it felt unnecessarily forced, I guess you could say. Let me see if I can do it this way. Um, unnecessarily forced is, pro is the wrong word. Um, I'm trying to think of the word. Um... It felt like there were a lot of lies and uh, a lot of broken promises, I guess you could say. I kind of like this one. I don't like the color. I know it doesn't make a lot of sense, but whatever. It works. It's there. Um, I think that works. I think the house is pretty much done. Which means I can actually start using it. It's actually, unintentionally, probably one of the most well-laid-out homes... For Sims to be in because we have enough rooms for eight Sims because there's four up here, two in here, <coughs> and then we have two in the guest bedroom down here plus a living room with music player. We have an, a, a full on study with a chair. Granted, it's a very blank looking study, but that's fine. Um, there's not a lot of artwork on the walls in this one. And I'm fine with that, because not every house needs to have, like, a ton of artwork. You have a very tiny little dining area, which is fine. I, I, I kind of screwed up with the dining area. There's not much I can do about it. Um, that's also because of this particular wall with this door. Actually... Technically, can't intersect other objects. I don't think the door can go there if I do it that way. Oh, it can. It looks really weird, though. Like, it looks forcefully tiny. Let's keep it as it is. It's fine. Um... 